Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to optimize post-tensioned concrete slabs in RAM concept. In this video, we will show you how to model your banded tendons and define them as optimizable objects. For our sample model that we will be using in today's training session, our banded tendon body lines will be placed in the latitude direction. To create any optimizable post-tension objects, they must be placed on the tendon parameters plans. So we'll go to the latitude tendon parameters standard plan to begin. Now when you're ready to start modeling your banded tendon polylines, you're going to want to start by specifying their parameters. So in the layer specific tool, I will now double click on the banded tendon polyline icon. In the default band and tendon polyline properties dialog, I will now enter my parameters and I'm going to start with my tendon specification. Now you have the option when creating optimizable band and tendons to specify their optimization properties in terms of effective force or the number of strands. If there are code limits that impose lower and upper values for this range, such as pre-compression limits, you can specify them here so that they are included in the optimization. We are going to enter our information in terms of number of strands. Once you are done setting all of your default band and tendon polyline properties, you can select the optimization tab and then choose to optimize these banded tendons. Now, for our particular model, we will instruct RAM concept to provide a minimum pre-compression of 125 PSI and a maximum pre-compression of 300 PSI. For a 12 inch thick concrete slab and a 26 and a half foot design strip, which is our typical span width, for this direction, we will specify a minimum and maximum number of strands as 18 strands and 42 strands in this direction for our typical interior bays. We'll go ahead and click OK. And you can see that this tool is still active and we are ready to create our banded tendon polylines. We are going to create these interior banded tendon polylines along grid lines 3, 4, and 5 in the latitude direction. Now for our first click, for our first polyline, we're going to click along that column line at the intersection of the grid line and the edge of slab. When creating optimizable objects in RAM concept, it's best practice to ensure that all of your objects are clicked to the edge of slab or, or are within the slab edge to ensure that you do not have any optimizable objects outside the slab edge, which may increase your computation time and the number of ACUs consumed. So I'll go ahead and click on the edge of slab for my first click. I will click over to the end again, and then I'm going to right click and hit enter, which will complete that banded tendon polyline. And I'm going to repeat this process along grid lines 4 and 5. You can always zoom in or utilize different snapping tools, whichever can make this process easier for you. Now for our particular model, we also have a few exterior bays, and I'm going to choose to reduce the number of strands for those exterior bays. So to redefine my properties, I'm going to double click on this tool, return to the optimization tab, and since these are half span conditions, or half the width of the span, let's go ahead and adjust their number of strands accordingly. Now I will go ahead and create my polylines along the exterior bays. Okay. 
In addition to modeling your banded tendon polylines, you may want to take a look at your model to determine if you want to keep the number of strands along a particular span the same or constant, or if you want to allow the program to change the number of spans. So what we're going to do in this exercise is we're going to use the split banded tendon polyline tool, which is used to segment previously created banded and tendon polylines when they cross a defined splitting line. To access this tool, you'll go to the layer specific toolbar and we will click on the split banded tendon polyline tool and we'll decide where we're going to allow this to happen. Now additional tendons may be required in end spans that are approximately the same length or longer than interior spans. This is especially important in larger models which have more interior spans. So the optimizer will determine the additional tendons only if the band and tendon line is segmented at those end spans. Now I'm going to decide to allow the program to change the number of spans as they cross over grid line D. So I'm going to go ahead and click on grid intersection D1 and then I will finish off by clicking on grid intersection D7. And you can see that the program has split the number of tendons and it will allow the tendon or the quantity of tendons to vary as it crosses that point. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.